Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and I go over oily skin, hooded eyes, and beauty. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to put on your transfer proof makeup underneath your masks. Whew, let's get started. So during this time, I do encourage everyone to stay at home and only go out if necessary. But for those who are essential workers and have to be out and about wearing a mask, and for those who have family members that need some tending to, I will show you how to put on transfer proof makeup that is also long wearing while you wear a mask. So I'm not gonna really focus on my eye makeup today. I'm not gonna do anything glamorous or anything like that. Today, I'm just gonna be focusing on transfer proof makeup for underneath your mask. For those of you who want to do a glamorous eye look, I have done some tutorials in the past, so you can definitely check out those videos. I already did all my skincare. I did my serums, my face oil, my moisturizers, um, little spot treatments, cause you know, it's, it is this time of month and I am suffering a bit right now. I went ahead and let my skincare soak in and now I wanna go into my primer, which is my favorite, the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer because we want that makeup to really stay. And this one is definitely gonna get into those pores and blur them out. That is why it's my favorite. I have jumbo pores. I'm just gonna press that into the skin. And I also want to focus on areas where I do crease, which is going to be down here. I also have creasing here. So this is obviously where the mask is going to go. So I want to make sure that I'm getting all of those areas. There will be a lot of sweating underneath the mask. So we want to make sure that we are mattifying priming everything. In case you're wondering, I've already done my eyebrows. They are normally not this dark. So I just went ahead and got that out of the way because it's, you know, a very long and boring process. Now that we have our primer on, we want to make sure that our skin really absorbs it. So we want to wait just a little bit during this time. You can fill in your eyebrows and then move on to the next step. The next step is translucent powder. I am crazy, crazy oily, so I want to use as much powder as possible to soak up all of those oils. So um, I want to put this on underneath my foundation and then of course on top of my foundation. So I'm just going to get a powder brush and put that on really quickly. This is not only going to help absorb all of your oils, but it's going to help grab on to that foundation and make it stay longer. So I'm just getting my sheer powder brush from Eco Tools and just picking up a very little amount and just covering the areas where you get most oily. Make sure you also focus where your mask is gonna be and try not to inhale the translucent powder. I just did. It smells like coconuts but does not taste like coconuts. All right, just a light layer. So you don't really have to go out of your way to get this product, but this I found has really, really proven itself to be transfer proof. I, for those of you who know, I have done my Foundation Wars series, just testing out a lot of drugstore foundations to see what's best for oily skin, to see what is uh, gonna control my oils, stay on longer, and I found that the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation definitely is transfer proof. So I highly recommend this to be used underneath your mask, like I said, you don't have to go out and buy it, but uh, if you really want some transfer proof makeup, this is gonna do it. I'm just gonna put this on really quick. You can use a sponge, you can use a foundation brush. I'm gonna use my Luxie Beauty sponge for my foundation application. The key to a long lasting foundation is gonna be light layers. If needed, you can definitely build up the coverage, but really light layers is gonna work. The trick to getting in your jumbo pores using this brush here to really get everything in there. On to concealer, and my very favorite is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It is very long lasting, it is full coverage, it's amazing. I'm only gonna put it on the areas where I need it most. I'm not gonna really put any concealer around this area. Um, I wanna keep this area as light as possible so that way we have a longer lasting coverage. I'm just gonna blend this out really quick with my Luxie Beauty sponge. Mm -hmm. 
Next up, baking. And yes, I mean baking. We are going to bake the crap out of our face because we want as much oil to be soaked up as possible and we don't want that oil to be seeping through. We don't want our foundation to shift, to move underneath the mask since we're gonna be breathing so much and it's gonna get real hot and sweaty. We wanna bake because it is definitely necessary. I think I forgot to mention the setting powder that I'm using. It's the Ciate London Coconut Everyday Vacay Setting Powder. And I love this one because it is finely milled and it's perfect for baking. I will be baking everywhere I have the concealer and where I will be creasing. And of course, everywhere my mask will be touching. I know a lot of people don't like to bake and I completely understand. Actually, I don't, <laughs> I don't understand because I have oily, oily skin and um, baking is, is necessary. It is so necessary. If I don't do it, I look like, oh man, my makeup is just like melting off of me. It's, it's gross. <laughs> The most important areas where I'm going to be baking is right in these creases here and in my nose. I always have foundation coming off on my nose. So with the mask, it's definitely going to be over the nose. I want it to stay on as long as possible. <laughs> I chose a good day to wear black. Need some more baking powder. So yeah, <laughs> this is what I want you to look like. You really want to make sure that you are pressing this powder on your skin. Get it in those pores. Make sure your foundation and your skin really soak it up. So I'm just going to put it everywhere the mask is going to touch because, like I said, I have crazy oily skin and that mask is going to really create so much more oil. So yes, yes, this is necessary. And you don't have to let this sit. I know I said bake, but I normally bake here, here, like in the creases, but the rest of your face, you don't have to let that bake. You can go ahead and dust that off if you want to. I know I look like a crazy, crazy person right now, but yeah, you can definitely take that off. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take off the powder off of my cheeks, but I definitely will let the rest sit here because that oil, it's not my friend. All right, I let that sit long enough. I'm gonna dust everything off now. And the whatever's left over on my brush, I'm just gonna brush it up on my forehead. I do get oily there as well. Okay, I need to bring some life back into this powdery, powdery face. I'm gonna be putting on contour, my blush, and highlight. I'll be right back. So I went ahead and put on the rest of my makeup. I didn't feel like it was necessary to go through all of the steps because really, I really wanted to focus on the transfer proof of the makeup. I put on my Kylie Jenner khaki bronzer and my Kylie Jenner pink power blush, L'Oreal Lumi highlighter, my Sephora lash stories. For the eyes, I did the House Laboratories Glam Attack in Aphrodite. Mascara, the Tardis Man Eater. For lips, if you want lipstick, I definitely recommend a matte liquid lipstick. Right now I am wearing the Kylie Jenner in Candy K matte lipstick paired with a lip liner. I lined my lips, which will also help stop bleeding, feathering, and then I put it on pretty much all over my lips to help this stay. I do have some recommendations for matte liquid lips and my first one is number seven and this is their matte liquid lips and oh my god it is super hydrating it goes on matte and i have dry lips but i really really love this one and then of course as we all know the jeffree star velour liquid lipstick it is just every person's dream for a matte liquid lipstick especially for dry lips it's just amazing it is the best um, the next one is Pixie by Petra. Beautiful, beautiful liquid lip. It's kind of like the Velour liquid lipstick from Jeffree Star. I absolutely love it. It goes on dry. It is hydrating. So definitely try this out. The last step, the most important step is going to be a setting spray. And my absolute favorite one is the Urban Decay Dis Slick. It's a makeup setting spray oil control. Like I said, I have crazy oily skin and under the mask, you are gonna get sweaty and gross and nasty. And this is gonna help you from looking like that. <laughs> so last step. I am just gonna let my skin soak this in. 
So this is going to be transfer proof and long wearing, but you definitely want to still touch up on your makeup. Make sure that you are absorbing all of your oils with a blotting sheet. My favorite one is from Clean and Clear, just those blotting sheets all over. And then I do reset my makeup with the Neutrogena Shine Control Powder. And I just use this little itty bitty, it's an It Cosmetics brush. What is it called? Airbrush? It's just called an airbrush. I use it so much that the little wording is actually coming off. So just to touch up, I just get this brush and I swirl it and then I pack it, not pack it, but I do touch up on the areas that are separating, that are getting oily. So I would definitely keep this and blotting sheets on you. Okay, so let's go ahead and test out this transfer proof makeup and put on one of my mini masks. Of course, I let my makeup sit for a while and then I put this on so that way everything had a chance to kind of settle in my skin. So let's go ahead and take it off and show you. Okay, good. <laughs> Just kidding. So if you learned something new today, please hit that thumbs up and let me know if I left something out in the comments down below and please subscribe for more content. Thanks. Bye.